Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to the atomic structure and in the previous video we discussed about uh, Bohr's atomic theory and about the concept of uh, the electronic configuration, atomic number, mass number, isotopes and all that. So in this video we are going to discuss uh, some uh, other important concepts which is related to the drawbacks of uh, Bohr's theory what were uh, you know the errors the problems with uh, that approach and how uh, new uh, ways of uh, visualizing the whole atomic structure of an atom uh, it were uh, the new concepts new theories they were put forth so we know that Bohr's postulated that uh, electrons they revolve around the nucleus in specific designated orbits with fixed radius, fixed energies and as a result they do not spiral into the nucleus resulting in the uh, annihilation of electron proton and that gives rise to the stability of the atom. But one thing Bohr could not explain was that why the electrons they were restricted to only that specific orbit what determined wh why the radius was fixed okay why uh, any electron belonged to that orbit only the why why not the why it is restricted to k orbit why it is restricted to L or M or N orbit like that why not higher why not lower and uh, how can we exactly determine the location of the electron in a particular orbit so all these questions they were not answered by Bohr's theory the why he just uh, explained the whole thing but could not give the reason of uh, the explanation a good explanation to those postulates okay basically why electrons were restricted to fixed orbits of fixed radius from the nucleus and uh, a very good explanation to this came in the form of de Broglie hypothesis okay uh, which was given by uh, Lewis de Broglie so the de Broglie hypothesis uh, it brought into picture the wave nature of electron okay now we all know that light which is a wave electromagnetic wave it behaves in some respects like matter you know light photons light particles so de Broglie thought that if light behaves like matter like particles then electron which is a particle it can also behave in some way like wave an electromagnetic wave so matter as it exhibits both wave like and particle like properties so electron this can also behave as a wave so as per the de Broglie hypothesis matter exhibits both wave like as well as particle like properties so mathematically it can be expressed for any given particle the wavelength of that you know wave like characteristics of that particle if we consider that that wavelength is given by h by mv where lambda is the wavelength of that particle m is the mass v is the velocity h is Planck's constant so taking the same thing forward and applying it to electrons de Broglie gave an explanation that an electron which is orbiting in a particular uh, around the nucleus in a particular path circular path it behaves like a standing wave a stationary wave okay standing waves and stationary waves they are the same so what is a standing wave or stationary wave it is a combination of two waves moving in or traveling in opposite directions see this red wave and blue wave they are moving in opposite directions but 
they have the same amplitude and frequency so this gives rise to an oscillating wave which is fixed at one point and only oscillates at you know uh, at that fixed point okay so this is what we call a stationary wave which is the result of the interference or superimposition of two oppositely traveling waves having the same amplitude and frequency if the direction of these two waves would have been same they were traveling in the same direction then we would have got a traveling wave because of inter interference but as they are moving in opposite directions we we get a oscillating stationary wave fixed wave so this is what we get because of the phenomena of interference okay so this fixed oscillating wave is called as stationary wave the result of interference of two oppositely traveling waves in opposite directions having the same amplitude and frequency so de broglie gave the explanation that an electron bound to the nucleus it behaves like this stationary wave okay so if the electron it behaves like a stationary wave particularly taking into consideration the hydrogen atom then the length of the wave it must fit into the circumference of the circular orbit okay so here this blue portion it is the stationary wave okay which represents the wave nature of the electron which is bound to the nucleus okay this the electron which is orbiting around the nucleus it behaves like this stationary wave and it fits into the circumference of the circular orbit okay like this so mathematically we can establish a relationship between the circumference of the allowed orbit in terms of the wavelength of the electron wave and it is given by 2 pi r is equal to n lambda that is the circumference of the circular orbit is an integral multiple of the wavelength okay it is an integral multiple of the wavelength if it is not like that then the electron wave would partially cancel itself and the amplitude of the wave would be zero okay so the circumference of the circular orbit should be an integral multiple of the wavelength of the electron wave so this is a very good explanation related to the uh, wave nature of the electron or how the electron behaves in two ways we know, all know that uh, the de broglie hypothesis is related to matter exhibiting both wave like and particle like properties and this whole concept was extended to explain the uh, this whole thing of why the electrons they moved around the nucleus in fixed specific designated orbits so this is the de broglie hypothesis okay which is extended to the electrons orbiting around the nucleus behaving as stationary waves and the relationship between the wavelength of the electron wave and the circumference of the allowed orbit okay